Let's talk about how to create a min and max heap. We'll start by building a min heap. There are a few rules that we need to follow. The first is that nodes will be inserted at the lowest level of the tree, from left to right. The second rule is that in a min heap, the parent node must be less than the value of its children before proceeding. This brings us to rule three, which is that a swap operation can be performed between a child and parent node until rule two is satisfied. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at the following array that contains seven integers in random order. Let's move this to the top and begin constructing the min heap. We'll start with the first index in the array, which contains the number six. This will be our root node. We don't have any conditions to check right now, so let's take a look at the next value in our array, which is three. Remembering our first rule, this node will be inserted to the left of the root. Let's take a look at this node and its parent. Remember rule number two, the value at the parent node must be less than the value of its children. Since this condition hasn't been met, we need to remember our third rule, that we can perform a swap operation between the child and its parent. Now our root node is three. The next value in our array is four, which is inserted to the right of our root. Comparing this to its parent, we see that rule number two has already been met. So we can move on to the next value in our array, which is seven. Since the second row has fully been occupied, we'll insert it to the left of the left child. Comparing this node to its parent, we see that the condition has already been satisfied, so we can continue. Now we'll add the next value in our array. Comparing this to its parent, we see that the value of one is less than six, so a swap operation needs to be performed. But the second condition still isn't met, since we need to compare this value to its parent. Seeing that one is less than three, another swap operation needs to be performed. It seems like we've got the hang of it, so I'll go through the next two iterations. Finally, we're done creating the min heap. Note that the value at the root will always be the minimum of the array. Now let's talk about how to create a max heap. Values from the array are filled in the same order as a min heap, and a swap operation will be performed if the condition isn't satisfied. But the difference between a min heap and a max heap is that now the value at the parent node must be greater than the value of its children. We'll use the same array from before and start with six as the root node. Adding three to the left, when we compare the two values, we need to remember our new rule, that the value at the parent node must be greater than the value of its children. Since this condition has already been met, we can look at the next value in our array. Comparing six and four, we see that the condition has already been met, so we can continue. The next value in our array is seven. Comparing this value to three, we need to perform a swap operation. But the condition still hasn't been met, so another swap operation needs to be performed. I think we've got the hang of it, so I'll go through the rest of the iterations. Here's our max heap. Note that the value at the root is the maximum, while in the min heap, the root is the minimum. Here's a side-by-side -side look at our min and max heap that we created. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, here's a look at some of my other tutorials. Thank you for watching.